So just for a little perspective, we're moving from that to that. That is 3,000 square feet, five bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms, nice big master bathroom, living room, dining room, front room, you know, the whole thing. That is 375 square feet, two bedrooms, one and a half bathrooms, and you know, like the one bathroom is the kind of bathroom where when you're sitting on the toilet you could also be washing your hands in the sink at the same time and it wouldn't be a stretch. So today we are, we've been whittling stuff down the past three or four months and today we're hacking things off because when you start taking stuff from there into there, you realize there's no space in there. So that's our adventure today. Pretty awesome. When you're moving in and you have one day to do it and you're really stressed, that's the perfect time to start an art project. So that's what I'm doing. I'm making something to go on a wall that I've been thinking about for months. This seemed like great time, you know? Got some target letters and a pallet from the dump. I got myself a sign! Okay, get the spray. We need to put your bug spray on. Anyways. Good stuff. Maybe go see what Dad's doing. Okay. Where is Dad? Dad! Yep. Where did you be? On your legs. I'm just doing random things in here. Oh. Okay. Uh, no real direction, just... Oh, okay. You know, stuff. So, this is like torture. I've never considered myself like a... I'm, that I've had a lot, that I have a lot of clothes. Because I don't. I know I have less than a lot of gals. But, um, I'll see you. Where are you going? The Goodwill or whatever. The Goodwill. Okay. I know I have a lot of... I, I know I have a lot less clothes than some people. And in fact, like a couple months ago when we knew we were doing this, we went through and like got rid of two-thirds, if not three-quarters of our clothes. And still, today, moving into the fifth wheel, I realize... I have way too many clothes. It's like stuff like, how many pairs of like workout pants do you need? And in in the regular world, I feel like I need it like four or five, you know? But I don't know if I can cut that in an RV. I don't know if I can have four or five workout pants. So then I have to make the decision which workout pants I keep and which ones I get rid of. And that seems like a really small decision, but you're making like 10,000 of those decisions every hour and you're trying to move things in and find out where they're gonna go in each drawer. And I'm telling you what, my brain is not that type of brain. I'm like a idea person who then doesn't do anything after they come up with the idea. <laughs> no, I'm a big picture gal. I am not like a, hey, let's put this in this drawer thing. And it's like excruciating. It's like nails on a chalkboard. But if I wanna have this life, you know, where I'm living simply and traveling the country, then I just have to like dig in and get it done, right? Isn't that called grit? This takes go grit. Now I just have to figure out which of my workout pants make me look the skinniest. Stickers. You think you need I these? I found it. Oh, from the, from the doctor's yeah. office? Do you need the stickers? No. Okay. Do you want to keep them or just throw them away? Probably throw them away. Okay, throw them away. This is a bookmark from Esther, from Esther on your birthday. Do you want to keep that with you? Are you going to use it while we're on the trip, or do you just want to put it in the box and store it? I'm only going to keep one. One bookmark? Yeah. So okay, well, we've got this bookmark. Which one do you want? Yeah. You want to keep this one? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. we got some colored pencils. That's for the book. That's for this book? 
What about this? Yeah. A pen? Trash. This is trash? Yeah. Okay. So it's our first morning in the RV, full time. No more of those last night. And I slept pretty well. What? Did you guys sleep well last night? Yeah. yeah. That's good. The beds have been put away, well, and every. And um, now we're just gonna make breakfast. So here we go. Now it's dishes time. Dad doesn't do the dishes. He just did his own dish. I have to do my own dish if I can avoid it. It's Andrew's dish this morning. We have this table set up because we just don't have enough counter space. Elijah. Our dish racks go up on the wall Elijah. when they're not in use. When they're not in use. Um, you can see out here our table set up. We have <clears throat> most sites come with a picnic table and then we have our own Walmart table, folding table, right. and our little IKEA stools. This is a great rug because the dirt falls right through it and um, it's comfortable under our feet. So. We just watched a movie and now we're having cookies and milk outside. Is it good? Yeah. yeah. I, need, I need to get a half for the Invisible Man. Is that okay? No, it's not okay. Can't have it. Is this our campground? It's not super exciting. I mean, the spaces aren't big and there's not a lot of trees in between, but... Can I tell you something? Yeah. These are cookies. Yes, they are. Mom? But it's flat and it was easy to hook into. And That's it's pretty cool. here. The weather is perfect. I love that about North Carolina. Why? So Mike is obsessively cleaning inside. I think oh, it's his way of feeling in control. <laughs> so tomorrow's Sunday. We're going to go to church. And then we're going to take off to start our 18-month journey on Monday. Now, 18 months, I don't know if that's really a lot long we're going. That was just our, our guesstimate. We'll see what it ends up being. Maybe a little bit less, maybe a little bit more. <clears throat> All right, so over the last four days, we moved out of a 3,100 square foot house and into our little three room fifth three, wheel. Yeah. It's probably 350 square feet or so. Five wheels, 300, let's call it fifth Daddy. wheel. Uh, I don't know. But I wanted to kind of go back over the last few months and some of the hurdles. First, we um, bought the truck. Truck. Then we had to find a fifth wheel that would fit our family, which was a very small, uh, what would you say? Small selection. Small selection. You know, there. <clears throat> we had to find one that slept over 10. We really wanted to find one where they all had their own bed that wasn't a sofa, but ultimately we did not find that um, because we also wanted a washer and dryer and a second bathroom. Totally. Yeah. So we found it. Then we. Well, uh, in, it took while, a long time. While finding all that, we were just we started getting rid of stuff like almost immediately after making that decision. 
We did. And that um, took the entire. Thank you. That took the entire four months. Yeah, like there, that. we were doing that all the time. We did the Konmari method, you know, from that Japanese book, which was insane. Well, yeah. And then, so as you can see, that was seriously stressful. Tons to get rid of. And we did that with all of our sure. stuff. But we realized, like, in the last few weeks, that even though we had gotten rid of probably like seven eighths of our stuff, yeah, we still had more to get rid of um, in the last um, couple weeks, and then the last couple days before we moved in. And still, now that we've moved in, we've realized we still have too much stuff because it's mostly clothes. I know. Mostly her clothes. <laughs> well, Not Eve's, but yeah. Megan's. <laughs> her closet is packed. Oh, are we just gonna? Packed. I think me and Eve are just gonna make out now. She wants a kissy kissy. Hello. So, yeah, the name of the game is just getting, we just had to get rid of everything. Really. Everything. I feel like I'm like in that moment a romantic movie, like just before, like they have their first kiss. <laughs> so here, you like, look into each other's eyes. Yeah, she was totally looking into my eyes. Eve, you need to get down, girl. This <laughs> is the best. So, um, it's Saturday night. That's all right, all right. Saturday night's all. Is that how it goes? Saturday night's all right for fighting. So says Elton John. Mm -hmm. oh. So we'll be, Megan and I will be fighting later tonight. Fighting. While we run the washing machine. Yeah. She's, she's giving me the rolly eyes. <laughs> oh, careful. No, it's beautiful out tonight. We're excited. We're going to go up to Virginia. Lynchburg, Virginia. And see Monticello. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to go. I think Gettysburg know. is around there too. <laughs> Gettysburg. That's cool, but. That doesn't sound fun with kids. You'd be surprised what's fun with kids. Like, like near nearly nothing? <laughs> yeah, nothing. All right, thanks for tuning in. If you'd like to watch us on our journey that we're just beginning, go ahead and subscribe. Then every time you get onto YouTube, it'll tell you which new videos we have. Also, comment. We'd love to hear your comments. We promise that we read them and we'll answer them. And if you have any good questions, you can ask them there, and maybe we'll answer those in the videos too. So, stay tuned. Peace the out. Adventure yeah. of Yeah. yeah.